YouTube, Anna here. I just wanted to film a very short update about my um, IUI today. <laughs> Cecilia's right behind the camera. Come here, come here. Um, so we got up super early, had to drive two hours. Hi, look, say hi YouTube. Hi, she's pizza all over her face, that's really nice. Anyway, um, I couldn't sleep at all last night. I was so anxious because I filmed my live OPK test yesterday because I got an almost positive. Oh yeah, here's your toy. There you go. I filmed my almost positive, or I did not film my almost positive. I had an almost positive, and then a few hours later, I filmed my next uh, urine that I took the OPK with, and it was so not even close to positive. So all night I was super anxious, feeling just crazy, like, oh, we're gonna waste so much time, oh, like all this pressure. Um, and then also I had it in my head, like, it would be so cool to have an IUI done two years after CC, um, that IUI happened. So anyway, I just had all this pressure and I felt crazy and didn't sleep well. We got there. Yeah, say hi. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Um, <laughs> you're so cute. Um, she immediately um, put the wand in to do a transvaginal ultrasound, and she said, your lining has three layers. If I could just see that, I would say, yeah, you ovulated. And I was like, okay good like I was freaking out for no reason and then she moved it to my left ovary nothing like tiny little barely follicles not even measuring them they're so tiny um and then moved to my right ovary my left one was actually really hard to find and it was painful to get it um done anyway and then moved over and bless you I love you you're so cute um then I moved over to my right side and nothing like zero nothing 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 so she was like that's strange and then I explained to her like usually I wait till I have a positive and then I call you guys and schedule my IUI but the nurse told me to come in when I had half as dark as the control line and I got an almost positive so like something's happening and so she said you know in the off chance that you did ovulate I would I would see a collapsed follicle but I don't see that at all um, but like maybe you did and we could go forward with an IUI but come here Cece come here um, so it's up to you if you guys want to gamble that much money away and I was like, yes, we drove all the way down here, let's do it. Um, and my husband was like, maybe not the best use of money. Yeah, silly daddy with his logic that makes sense. Anyway, so <laughs> we ended up not getting an IUI and she said, okay, well that's fine, totally up to you anyway. Uh, let me give you labs to do. You could go upstairs and get them drawn right now. We should have the... <laughs> la, 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 la. Um, we should have the lab results this afternoon and yeah so they were checking my estrogen progesterone level <laughs> um, and also my prolactin and I told them like I checked my notes which actually I checked my YouTube video <laughs> um, and I was on five milligrams of bromocryptine when I got pregnant with Cecilia and I'm only taking 2.5 right now so I was like, yes, check my prolactin because I'm pretty sure I'm on too low of a dose and I'm still leaking. So like, there's something going on here. And so she said, great, we will check your prolactin too. So then I got my labs done and we drove all around town and had a pretty decent day, like just a nice day. And then 4.30 rolled around and I thought, they're not gonna call me. It's like almost closing time for them. They're definitely, gonna call me tomorrow and maybe not even tomorrow morning tomorrow evening like oh I hate waiting on lab results but they called me so my prolactin level was 13.8 and under 20 is normal so yes but I don't know
don't know why I'm leaking. <laughs> like I'm still producing milk. And she told me over the phone, eventually it'll dry up. And I wanted to tell her, probably not. <laughs> Especially if I'm going to get pregnant, then I'm going to stop taking bromocryptine. Then my milk supply will probably just go through the roof. Anyway. <clears throat> that doesn't bug me. I will pump. I will collect all that milk for baby number two. I do not mind at all. So that was good news for me. Don't have to change my bromocryptine um, levels at all. Still taking 2.5 milligrams at night. Then she told me that based on like my LH hormones, it looks like I haven't ovulated at all yet. So she said, it's strange that your lining has three layers and you're like ready to be implanted, but your follicles aren't there yet. So she said, you should probably take Provera um, for 10 days and get that bleed going. And then when you start your period, take 100 milligrams of uh, Clomid. So that's sort of where we're at right now. I didn't get an IUI, um, I didn't ovulate yet, I might ovulate in the next couple of days, I don't know. I'm still going to talk to my husband about it because I don't know if I'm going to like wait two to three days and then start my Provera or just start it right away and get this show on the road, so I'm not sure. Yeah, Cecilia, do you want to say bye? Come here, come here and say bye everyone. Come here. No? Okay. She's not going to come over here. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I will talk to you later. If you have any questions, make sure you comment down below. I'll answer all of your questions. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, to see more of these videos. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>